I come to youth group because it's just a happy place to be and made so many friends here. Um, I came to youth group because of uh, a guy in my church and, and invited me to come and play music with uh, the uh, music team for practice. And um, yeah, that's how I started coming to youth. I come because it's fun to hang out with people. That's why I come to youth group. Um, my friend kept pestering me for like a month to come here, and then I did. Now I can't really go away. It's fun. Well, uh, my brother uh, told me that it would be really fun, and I guess I found out that was, and just haven't left. Um, well, I come to youth group because it's one of the main places where I feel welcomed and I have a lot of my friends here to hang out with and I like learning more things about God that I may not have known if I didn't come to youth group. I come to youth group because quite honestly the youth are my best friends and I want to hang out with them, I want to pour into them and I want to see them uh, grow closer to God. That's why I come. I come to youth group to learn more about God and to build wholesome friendships with people who I know share the same values as me. Why do I come to youth group? It is fun. Um, it is an opportunity for a homeschooler to um, hang out with a lot of other youths. And um, I like the Wednesday nights in going into the Word and Praising God together, that's fun. I come to youth group um, so that I can be a part of building each other up in the faith. So, yeah. Um, to hang out with friends and to grow in the faith. I come to youth group because it's a good place to hang out and, yeah, and learn about God. You know, that's a really good question. Um, my primary reason is because when I was a teenager, God got a hold of my life in a really powerful way. And I want other teens to have that same experience with, with Jesus Christ. Because it changed me, it changed me from the inside out and I've never been the same. So that's why I do what I do. I want people to passionately experience Jesus Christ for themselves. Uh, it was like the Christmas party. We went sledding. Samaritan shot it, ran me over with a sled. I still pestered him about that. We went on a retreat to Eston and we, and my friend Isaiah gave his life to the Lord and that was probably my favorite memory from youth group or with the youth group. One of my favorite memories has to be my first big event and when we had the bonfire and everything just exploded. My favorite memory at youth, one of them is when Landon, he uh, lost a tooth when he fell down the stairs. One of my favorite memories of youth, and the first thing that comes to mind, is the night that Tristan hit himself in the forehead with a baseball bat. My favorite memories at youth are probably, I really like doing soap at youth, and I really like singing at youth, because. It's just a way to feel close to God and a way to really relate to my life other times that are not at youth. What is soap? Soap is where you read a passage of scripture and then you pick your favorite part and put it, like, attach it to your life. And then you do a prayer at the end and you just apply it to your life. My favorite memory at youth group was uh, probably the movie making nights. They are pretty fun and uh, it's fun to look back and, and see me as a ridiculous little guy. <laughs> I really like the time when we're going out helping people by in winter by shoveling their driveways and we'd push each other into the snow and basically other kinds of tomfoolery. <laughs> that was fun. Probably the winter camp in year before last. Probably the first time we did the winter camp in was probably the best. 
You know, one of my absolutely favorite memories from being in youth group was when uh, we uh, did this game called Rise of the Communists, and we had a speaker that was here who used to persecute Christians in the country he was from. And afterwards, they all got together in my apartment. I don't know if you were here uh, for that, Daniel, or not, but uh, we fit, it was probably about 60, 70 kids into my apartment, and there was nowhere to sit. And I remember thinking, man, this is, this must have been kind of like what it was like to go hear Jesus speak. And as this guy started to share about his former life and how God changed him, it was just like, whoa. You could hear a pin drop in that place. And to see all the other kids that uh, grew up within that, um, starting as you know little kids with high voices for the guys, and then becoming men is, is really incredible. And uh, watching them mature, it's just my favorite. It's just it's awesome. Uh, um, I can't really pick out one specific one. It's an ongoing memory that's awesome. One thing God's teaching me is just that he's the most important. Everything else needs to take the back seat. So, yeah. Um, sometimes when I see the stuff that we, that we had done in youth group, it reminds me of, of, of myself when I was younger. And um, I've kind of been reminded that uh, even if you're having rough times, God is going to give you the strength to get through it if you ask for it. And, Probably to have patience with like the kids at my school because they can be difficult and it's hard not to fight back or say something back. So he's been teaching me how to be patient. That no whatever, whatever the heck I'm going through in my life is always a plan. I may not see it, I may think he's crazy, but in the end, it all works out. Don't know how, don't know why, but it works. So I'm like, okay then, I just go with it. Through all the difficulties uh, me and my family have, are going through with my uh, brother right now, I guess he's just teaching us to be uh, strong and uh, encourage us to help him and other people like him. One thing God's teaching me currently still is to just trust in him and know that he's always there and that he's always gonna catch you. Um. To be more like him. Um, probably how holy he is and how much he needs to be respected. God's been teaching me that um, I'm special to him and to everyone else, and yeah. God is teaching me lots. He is um, showing me that I need to step out in my faith and that I need to be bold in my actions, and he's showing me that. I'm being watched all the time because of my Christian faith and that I just need to be living for him all the time, not just when I feel like it. I think through, lately God's been teaching me that we can have a lot of, of trust and faith in the next generation. I hear lots of, of older people complaining about the youth of today and how they don't know values and they don't know morals and ethics and they don't know how to treat people. And I don't see that that often. I see a lot of youth that are pretty awesome and, and God's excited to use them to change the world. So. I think for a really long time, I struggled with brokenness, wondering why God wouldn't choose to fix something that you could tell is out of place. And just, just recently in particular, God is showing me that it's through our brokenness, through our weakness, through the scars that we have, that his light shines uh, the brightest. And we, we see that hope um, that Jesus Christ puts in our hearts. And other people see it too when we're living for him. So that's, that's something that, that God has been showing me. One thing God is teaching me currently is a lot, since I'm graduating and such, is a lot in trusting him for the future and um, just looking to him more for what's going to happen and what, where I should be turning and next and lots of other things like that. <laughs> yeah.